Hi everyone, welcome back to another segment on health and wellness with Jimmy for Young Magdalene. And today we have with us Denzin, a yoga teacher who has done her training in South India and been there for like 10 months during intense yoga. So now, what is yoga? This is a question that a lot of people ask. One of the first things that people normally think when you utter the word yoga is that it means standing on your head. And normal means standing on your feet. Now yoga is not about doing anything in particular. It is simply a way of being. It is a way a person can be. Now this way of being is described by so many and so many different ways. Now Patanjali, he's the author of Yoga Sutras and the father of modern yoga. He simply describes yoga as the cessation of the mind. He says yoga is simply chitta, vritti, niroda. That is, if the activity of the mind ceases and you are still alert, that is yoga. If all mental modifications cease and you are still alert, that is yoga. So there are many ways to reach this state, the state of yoga. I just want to tell you a little more about what yoga can do for you. Mm -hmm. Yoga is a way of not only bringing about deep and enduring sense of relaxation, both to the body and the mind. Yoga also helps in so many ways in the sense that it helps chronic ailments like asthma, diabetes, um, high blood pressure. However, these are all side benefits when you are in yoga. These benefits will anyway happen when you are doing yoga. So what is the fundamental objective of yoga? They say, if you live like a lotus, that is when you are in a state of yoga. Yes. No matter whatever the outside circumstances may be, no matter how much slush and garbage there may be, if you can maintain an inner balance and become a wonderful human being, that is when you reach a state of yoga. Yes. So today, um, I think like you said, what would be the best for everyone to start their yoga journey? Simple meditation, I think, would definitely, that's how I started my journey. Simple meditation definitely puts you on that. Like I said, Upa Yoga, which is largely to do with lubrication of joints, and it does much more for the energy system. That is a good way to start. And Surya Namaskar. Now Surya Namaskar, once again, is a very basic practice, largely a way of saluting the sun. Uh, and I think that that combination of Upa Yoga and Surya Namaskar I found is a very way, good way to start your journey in yoga. Now if you're looking for something else, or something more meditative, something more powerful, something a little more spiritual, then there are so many different practices. Um, another great practice would be yogasanas. Now I'm just going to demonstrate a few postures for you just to give you an idea of what asanas look like. Asanas once again literally means postures. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you. Like she already mentioned, so this isn't a complete cycle of the yoga session, but it's always good to have started it, because I tell you what, it really feels wonderful to have done this. I mean, please, to have tried most throughout the session, but it's wonderful. But if you would like to know more about other yoga programs, please do feel free to contact Yandi on her official Facebook page at Bhutan Classical Hatha Yoga, and you can subscribe for private classes with her. Mm. 
If you like this program, please do comment and share and like the video. And if you have more suggestions on what we can do for our health and wellness series, please do comment below or you can always reach us on our Facebook page and Instagram account at Young Marketing. We'll see you next time.